Hi, this is Professor Henderson. I wanted to create a really short video to just give you a few tips or hints on how to be successful in this online course. First and foremost, one of the uh, best things that you can do is you can uh, check in early and often. One of the fundamentals to being successful in this course is to check in daily. I can't emphasize enough how important having daily contact with the class is going to be. Sure, you can take Saturday and Sunday off. Uh, remember the due dates and times for everything. You'll note that everything is due on Sunday by 11.59 p.m. in each unit. But you want to make sure and not go too many days without checking in. Anytime we make any significant changes to the syllabus or the timeline in the course, I will post an announcement and I will also send an email. But please be sure to be present. Check into the course and uh, be active in that way. Know the schedule. Every assessment for this course has a due date that has already been set and posted on our Blackboard course site. You'll find that information through the syllabus and schedule link. You'll want to open up the schedule folder. Within the schedule folder you'll see two items. One is a just a regular standard calendar and the other one is a checklist. And I created these checklists just in an effort because some people really like to have tangible schedules to refer to. Um, you can print out the checklist acknowledge and write down the due dates and times for each of the content in the course and then that way you have it all on one piece of paper. Know the process. I've outlined a very specific process to the course. There are a series of events that must be completed in order in order for you to maximize the pedagogical theories that have been outlined in this course. Each unit uh, I will post the process for the course that way you can um, remind yourself on what's to be done in which order. It has been posted within the syllabus and also on each unit and again I just can't stress enough how important the process is and following that process will be to your success in the course. My next little tidbit is use the rubric. For all written assessments in this class, I have created a rubric for you to refer to prior to completing your written assessment. That way you know what we're going to be looking for in your assessment and how it will be graded. You'll notice that each um, rubric is set up with the same columns. What we do when we grade is we start with the center column, which is the average column. If you complete the tasks asked or requested in the assessment, we'll start with that center column. You know, if you if we've asked you for five items and you give us all five items, you'll get an average on that. If you're the kind of student that wants to move to the right in the rubric or move up in grades, like from the average or the C to the B, A, you're going to want to move above and beyond what is just requested in the assignment. The assignment is the baseline. It's the average. It's what we expect of you at minimum in order to pass the class. If you want a, a grade that is above and beyond, you're going to need to go above and beyond. Make sure and review the rubric prior to submitting the assessment and also use the rubric to interpret and improve upon your performance on the assessments. Check the grade book. You'll locate this through the tab on the left in our Blackboard course, uh, referred to as My Grades. You always want to check your submission. <coughs> you always want to be sure to check your submission. When you submit, you'll see this little circle with the white uh, exclamation point located inside it. That way, you know something has been submitted. I would recommend clicking on that symbol in your grade book for the assessment that you just completed to ensure that what you submitted is accurate and representative of what you attempted to submit. Also, use the grade book to follow your own progress in the course. We will use those exclusively. My last tidbit is to get busy get engaged. We're going to be hitting the ground running and we're going to keep moving at a fast pace. This is a five-week course. I'm not offering you any less content than I would during a regular term. That's not what summer school means. Summer programs and summer courses represent the content at the same level of difficulty and depth but it's offered over a shorter period of time. We don't want to devalue those summer grades. We want them to mean as much as they um, do during the regular term. Well, I hope that my keys to success in the uh, online summer course with Psych 101 with Professor Henderson proved to be beneficial for you. Um, please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.